Carl Critchell works welcome back <laughs> um, all of a sudden uh, a, a small group tonight of attackers and midfielders having a, the first session back yes. uh, in pre-season can you just talk us through that first and the idea of having these small sided sessions yeah I think um, a lot of the lads were, were really eager to get going and so was I so we just talked about doing really specific um, targeted sessions based upon positional play and, and you know how we want to move forward with next year so we've got obviously Josh doing a, a warm up now and, and yeah so the, the lads are raring to go I think what we got in five tonight and um, could have been nine or ten but a couple pulled out but that's okay because we're, we're really early and yeah just excited to be back on the pitch yeah. and um, get going yeah and two newbies today announced um, Elliot coming in and so to Sam Gadsby both young talented players uh, with a future in the game if they want it as well and fit the ethos for this club, don't they? Yeah, you know, we've, we've talked about the model that we have in this, this area. And geographically, it's quite difficult to go and get the best players in the league and, and, that, and that suits us to a T. You know, it allows us to develop those players and hopefully give them the platform to go on and, and hopefully play in leagues higher than this and, and, and prove themselves in the local area. Elliot, fantastic talent, very raw. I think we need to support and give him, give him an, an environment that he can grow in. Um, and gives us variation, which we probably didn't have last year. We didn't have a lot of speed on our side, and, and that's really important when you come against you know low blocks or teams that, that press high. It's quite nice to have that difference. And with Sam, you know what can I say? He's you know 16. He's he's an absolute monster, and he's got a huge future in the game. And we've got to handle him with care, and and hopefully we give him enough opportunities where he can grow and hopefully become a mainstay on our side. And Another one that I would hope within a couple of years would, would, would surpass us and hopefully go and achieve whatever he wants to in football. Yeah, and in terms of this pre-season campaign now starting out, um, can you just talk us through how it will ramp up over time over the next few weeks? Yeah, I, th I, th I think these are generalised sessions, like I said. We're, we're doing targeted stuff. I'm not going to get them in and, and start running them at this early, you know, that they haven't really had the chance to recover and, and allow their bodies to have that break. So we'll make sure we do targeted and specific stuff. But... Um, you know, when we get back into training, we've we've got two sessions. I think it's on the 22nd or 27th, um, and we're in Gym Geek, and we'll we'll get their um, we'll get the data on them, we'll get them tested, and see how they are physically and how their cardiovascular systems are, how fit they are, um, and then we'll retest them at the end of pre-season to make sure that we've done the work that we should have done. Okay, Cole. Thank you very much. Yes,